Now we're on. We're on. All right. All right. Once again, we'll try this. Here to talk about the upcoming school referendum for April, on April 2nd is Lux School District Administrator Corey Hinkle. So, Mr. Hinkle, the floor is yours. Yeah, so uh, thanks for having me on. Uh, so we've had an operational referendum since 2014. That's the first thing I want our folks to know, that it's not a new referendum. It's a ask that has been occurring. This will be the third time that we've had that ask. Um, the first one was in 2014, a five-year, uh, 300,000 annually referendum. Then we renewed it in 2019. And now we're at a point where we need to renew it because it was five years, so we're at 2024 here. Um, so it's a continuation. It's not like the uh, referendum like we did with the building. That is um, separate. Yeah. You know, I, when I went to those meetings with people, people said, well, you're just coming to ask for another referendum. I said, I was very clear that we're not going to ask for another debt referendum, but an operational referendum we do have to ask. So, because um, that's a continuation. Unless the funding formula changes from the state, um, all right, we need to be able to um, provide our minimum services, and this is just the way that we are schools all around the state are doing this so um, we we are asking this time five years for five hundred thousand so an additional two hundred thousand over the the other ask but there's multiple reasons why that's occurring um, the revenue limit worksheet which we use to calculate how much money from the state is projected to drop almost ninety thousand oh dollars from my there goodness. yep and then we have another um, the way our energy efficiency project was set up before I came here that is increasing in the amount. We have different um, costs that are all increasing from, um, you know, just like your dollar doesn't go very far in your household like it used to. You go to the grocery store, things cost way more. Same thing for us, electricity, water, um, our employee wages, our health care benefits, they've all increased at a rate that um, that has been right with inflation and our increases haven't from the state and the revenue limit haven't increased up. The nice thing though is the way that we're projected, um, our actual levy, the amount that we asked the taxpayers is staying relatively even. So that actually means the mill rate is projected to drop to 6.69 mills, which is the lowest mill rate that we've seen. I got data back to 2005. That would be the lowest one in that time. So um, we right now we're at 7.03 mills this year. It dropped down to 6.69. And people are like, well, how does that happen? You know, well, it's because of that um, decrease in the amount we can do in the revenue limit worksheet. There's some other factors. We started the uh, child care six years ago when I came here. We finally are getting a better understanding. We don't need to levy as much money for that. Um, there's some different other areas that we're cutting our pennies. You know, we're trying to be fiscally responsible here and have a reasonable ask that the taxpayers can handle. So um, one other thing I'd like to touch on um, while I'm here, Marty, is, you know, I've heard a lot of people say, well, you got all that COVID money. Well, that COVID money, the ESSER funds, as it was called, is one-time money. It's stuff that we had to spend in unlike um, some neighboring districts and districts across the state we did not use that for reoccurring expenses we helped upgrade the playground area we did uh, some maintenance things just um, curriculum all of our curriculum is updated with it we have the newest curriculum elementary math reading just every every subject got updated in the last um, three years with that and the other thing is that money has to be spent by September 1st so it can't be carried over so um, you know that's a mute point yeah and and what what are the ramifications of of a failure to pass this well the failure you, you don't want to talk about this yeah you don't want to talk about it but um you know we have to look at everything you know and the problem with making any cuts it's got a direct impact on the students because you know the majority of the money that we take in through the levy that goes for our employees in in the general upkeep so something's got to give so do you cut janitors do you cut yeah. your um your food service staff you you know all that has an impact we cut te we could cut teachers you cut programs you know you cut your the ag or the face or something like that yeah. it's all things i really don't want to talk about but in the back of your mind you got to have a plan for that too so i'm hoping that you know uh, people will be educated with that there's information on our website they can call the district office, email me. I'm more than willing to answer any question that people have because I want them to be educated. You know, one way or the other, no matter how people vote, 
as long as they have the information and are educated with it, that is their choice. That's in my job to get the information. Yeah, out an to informed it. vote. Are you planning on district-wide meetings coming up? Or um, we or we're sending some flyers out. Okay. Um, we've had them in the past where I've gone to townships and nobody shows up. Ah. So um, we're taking the approach of getting out door to door with the flyers, getting that information out the best we can through our newsletter. There was a bunch of stuff in there, and we're hoping that the people that want to get the information will get get it because um, we, we've we've done that before and you, you're speaking to three people and then sometimes it's the same people at every meeting so um, I'm you know I've had a few people reach out to me already and it was nice one-on-one -on -one conversations which I you know it, instead of pre getting a dog and pony show and a big presentation yeah. that nobody's come come and ask me directly what you want to hear and I'll go. tell you the truth I, I that's my job I'm not hiding anything from anybody well, good. So, I mean, in the past, uh, you know, the, the voters of the district have, have supported uh, this type of, of referendum. Uh, so this is nothing new. Uh, it, it just extends the, the policies that have been in existence for the past, and it provides a, an extra few dollars in, in a similar referendum. Yep. And, and we got a lot of good things going on in luck. I think, um, you know, the op the... Uh, building referendum. We got to update all of our classrooms. The ESSER funds with the curriculum. Um, there's a lot of good things. We we have all those programs. You know, we have an ag program. We have a face. We have a Spanish teacher. We have a business teacher. Not many schools of our size can say they have all those for our students in house. And then the other thing that I want to make sure people realize is any class a kid wants we'll find it they can take it online they can yeah. take it through college get college credits you yeah. know um you know like when mr um roush retired you know i yeah, had a lot of physics had, had a lot of people were upset that we didn't have physics well now they take it online they can get college credit for the physics class exactly. so you know sometimes it's even better going through that way so we're working hard hard to make sure our kids have just as many opportunities um have the have great facilities for them and a good learning environment and the top of the line teachers top of line um curriculum and all that comes at an expense well i i, I don't know i, I my, my son was back here earlier this year and and was really impressed with with the remodeling job that that you guys put together he graduated in 2004 and uh, he was most impressed with the updates the the classroom updates and and uh um I don't know if, if people had a chance during the alumni tournament uh, to come back and, and see it, but it, 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 there's a different vibe here. Yeah. And, and it's, it's, it's... I got to give a shout out to my maintenance crew because as we were going through that referendum pro process, it was the worst possible time. Inflation hit so high in the bidding process. and. I was racking my brain because I said, we, we guaranteed the taxpayers we're going to get all these classrooms yeah. down and uh, Market and Johnson is showing me these bed sheets and it's way over. Yeah. So we ended up pulling out all the classroom remodels and that and did it, self-performed it or did it ourselves. So between myself, Larry Olson, our maintenance director and our maintenance staff, we, self, we did bids ourselves, we self-performed it and actually we had a little bit. We <laughs> had, had, had enough to do some extra things. Some always got resurfaced and everything. Um, did some different improvements around. And uh, we have some money to update the stage. We're going to put some sound system in there. So it, is, it has been a great process. It, stressful at times, but seeing it all come to attrition or where, attrition here where um, the kids are enjoying it. There's a sense of pride from our, our students yes. with it. Community members have a lot of pride when they come in. It's just been wonderful. No, I, you know, I, I encourage the public, you know, I, I, I spent time around here uh, doing this thing and, and, and what have you, and I, I, I really have to compliment you guys for the job you did with all the with all the remodeling and, and updates, it, it it really is a, a wonderful upgrade. It was needed there, yep. you know. I mean, I. Uh, well, the, the classroom was the same as when you were in there. Absolutely, <laughs> and, absolutely, and, and that's what I keep people telling people. It's a forty-year investment because that classroom is forty years. We 19, 1978 was a good year. In yeah, nineteen seventy-eight. Well, I was born but, in seventy-nine. Uh, then. <laughs> Don't go there. <laughs> I don't want to feel older than I already am. But no, that's it. it, it it's something that the that the community um, you know should take a great deal of pride in. Uh, they, they, you guys done a great job, and and uh, so 
You're to be committed. Well, I thank you. I got to get to a JV girls game to watch All right. play, but go get another win. Yeah, appreciate you guys having me on. And if anybody out there wants more information on the ref referendum, go to our website, call the district office. Um, I'm more than willing to reach reach out, talk to anybody. So All thank right. you very much. Very Marty. good. Thank you, Corey. Well, that was insightful. An operational ref referendum. Well, as we said earlier, um, Siren has no statistics whatsoever. We, right. we do know that uh, Gian Root is the coach, and we know that Rick Kozlowski is the, is the assistant. They are 9 and 13 overall. They're 6 and 10 in the conference. They uh, beat Luck by 10 points in the game played at the Dragon's Den back in January. Um, and uh, when it comes to tournament action, the boys' brackets will be released this weekend, I believe on Sunday night. So we don't know anything about tournament action, but we'll we'll deal with that when it comes up. How about talking about the Luck Boys, Coach Wissy? Okay. <laughs> if I can if I get my papers not to stick together over <laughs> here. Alright. Luck is 4 and 17 overall. 2 and 14 in the conference. They shoot average 52 points per game. They shoot an average of 35% from the field, 68% from the free throw line, down from 70. They were they were at 70 for a while. Yes, which, they were. Which I think is really good. Absolutely. And their three point percent is 25%. They turn it over 19 points, or 19 times a game, and they get 32 rebounds a game. Their last game they lost to Shell Lake, 54 to 46. And that's about it. That's what I've got. Their leading scorers was Ty Ream at 21.2 points per game, and Zach Walters right behind him at 13.9, and Isaac Nemeth is up to nine points per game. Leading rebounder is Ty Ream at 13.2, and Sam Morley at 4.6. Uh, Zach Walters leads the assist category at three, and Ty Ream is, is up to 2.3 point or assists per game. And that's about it. Well, if you were here for our last home game, you uh, you heard the history or watched the history being made as Ty became the fifth player, the fifth boys basketball player in Lock High School history to join the Thousand Point Club. And just for the heck of it, I decided to do some research on predicting who the next man up is going to be. <laughs> yeah, that didn't take you very long, did it? <laughs> and, and according to my unofficial tabulations, again, yeah. I have uh, Mr. Walter, Zach, mm -hmm. with approximately 798 points. He averaged 10 points per game as a freshman, 11.5 points per game as a sophomore. To date, he's just under 14 points per game his junior year. He'll have tonight... Three more games uh, for sure uh, this year, mm -hmm. plus next year. He's a junior. Yes. So um, the, the Messer uh, prediction <laughs> is that uh, yeah. uh, teammates, and I think that's really cool. I, I mean, uh, Levi Jensen and Gage Johansson were teammates. Uh, both of those players graduated together and attained the 1,000-point mark, and uh, I'm, I'm predicting that uh, <coughs> Zach will join his uh his fellow teammate Ty with uh, with that same thousand point total. If he uh, yeah at fifteen points per game next year, he'll uh, he'll have it by sometime in January. My prediction. So, can you want to make a specific date? Do you want to January? F I'd say January fourth. That's my birthday. But okay. Um, no. I'm thinking later, <laughs> later, and we hope he stays healthy. That, that's the big thing. Yeah. That, that's obviously the big thing. Yeah, that'd, be, that'd be pretty cool to have two for one class yes. getting 1,000 points. 
So we're we're hoping to see another thousand point score. We uh, were going through the girls stats when they were honoring the seniors. I think they were doing it at the same time. So we missed that. Starting lineups for Siren. Uh, number zero, Fletcher Christensen, who's also their leading scorer. Number two, Nathan Tux, at senior. Number three, Ethan Rood, senior. Number five, Jacob Fernetten, a junior. And number 33, Gannon Reynolds, a junior. For luck. Number one, Zach Walters, Jr. Number two, Zach Morley. No, 12, I'm sorry, Ty Reem. He's doing it differently. Number three, Anders Duholm. Number five, Isaac Nemeth. And number 12, that should be, oh. That two is, is Morley, Sam. Okay. Sam was the last one on. I got blocked out. Yeah, no, it was the Sam The fans Morley. jumped up in front of me, so. Sorry about that. Oh. Zach Walter, Sam Marley, Anders Duholm, Isaac Nemeth, and Ty Reem starting for luck. Three seniors and two juniors in the starting lineup for the Cardinals. <laughs> I think uh, yeah. I did this back in the day. Yeah. Conceded that, that opening tip. Yeah. Walters, Duholm, Ream. And we, were, we predicted correctly, it's his own defense. <laughs> and Ty Ream gets a rebound already. And scores. Nice. Man for man defense, like they have been playing most of the year. Rude with the ball, he's their leading assist maker. He kind of sets the table. He's yes. the, mm -hmm. ooh. There's a Pete Maravich pass. <laughs> Hit the teammate in the face. That's a travel. Oh, we got a hold. Who's it going to be on? I think it's going to be on Duholm. Yes, Three. it is. Yes. And there's Duholm called for his first. Team first, four person, baseline. Rude, now guarded by Morley. Nice defense in a gap. Very. Really deep three, off, off the, the glass. glass. And he's laughing. <laughs> They all count. Fletcher Christensen's their leading scorer. <laughs> he was even laughing at that one, put his hand over his mouth. I like to see that. Morley. Walters looking good. Yes. 800 points, according to your <laughs> official. Unofficial. He's on his way. And another one. Ream with a rebound. Ream with a rebound. Down the middle. Nice pass. Nemeth, short. Morley with a rebound. Does a good job on the glass. And Ream bounces the ball on the end line for the turnover. Five three Cardinals on top. Christensen turns the corner all the way to the rim and scores. Yeah, nice drive. 
Jeez. Another. We saw the same. We saw the same. And the travel. <laughs> we got lucky with that travel. Oh. <coughs> yeah, those nonchalant passes. Just he take, yeah, he wasn't even looking. Just take think. a half a second and look. Yeah. Morley in the front court, one dribble. Ream. Walters. Morley. Ream. Gets the baseline. And Good. one. That foul is called against Tex. I think that's how you pronounce it. That's what I, if I remember right, Tex. that's what it was, yeah. In and out. Oh. Seven five Cardinals. Nice dribble drive. Christensen with four points and three more seven points. Ooh. Pull up. Travel. Oh. Oh. I don't think he got it out of his hand quick enough. Oh. He was he was headed to the rim and he just didn't get the ball out of his hand soon enough. 1438. Left and a half. Ooh. Nice oh. left hand. Nemeth with the steal. Nemeth with the score. I like that left hand. It was way yes, out there, so he the defense it. couldn't get out. Exactly. Yeah. There was no way that was going to get blocked. Turns the corner again. Nice, nice interior passing. Ball out of bounds to the Dragons. Little pocket pass there. Rude. Morley really did a nice job jumping out on that. Uh -huh. On the screen, you mean? You bet. Yes. That's the way you defend it. Duholm had it for a while. Yep. Ream with another rebound. Tapped away from behind. Ooh. Cardinals get to tap away. <laughs> I can't keep up with these turnovers. Duholm, Walters. Oh, tip from behind. Rude, up to Christensen. Deep three. Rebounded by Mark. Nemeth. Nemeth, sorry, wrong. 13 minutes. Remain in the half. Cardinals lead by two. Oop. Christensen with a rebound. <laughs> Joe Tolan looking to check in for the cards at the next dead ball. Sam plays in a nice defense. Yes, he does. He really, really gets after it at the defense. He rebounds well. They got him on the right guy. Oh. oh out of the hands. Ha. Ah, shouldn't have happened. Christensen has six and four. He's got ten. All ten points. He does. From Christensen. Hmm. Siren in the lead by one, ten to nine. I never 
never realized that Coach Root is left-handed. Hmm. Guess I didn't either. At least when he draws on his... Yeah, I see that. ...on his uh, felt board. His marker board. Left-handed. Blake Moline in for the Cardinals. We didn't pick, the, pick that up. He was the one that was fouled. That foul was called on Moline, his first. Nice touch. Oh, nice rebound. Tyreen with his fourth rebound. Six points for Ty. He's so quick off the floor. Yeah. He, he really gets up quickly. I'm one of those guys that has slow twitch muscle fibers. <laughs> if I want to get a rebound, I got to start talking about it before the guy gets a <laughs> shot on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This. Coming up on the 11 minute mark, Cardinals up by one. Double high post for Siren. Rude from the corner. And we got a foul on one, I believe. Number one, Helene. That's a second. Root is on the board. Somebody else besides Christensen. Siren 13, Cardinals 11. <coughs> Last time I thought they were 2 3. Yeah, they are. Ooh, nice pass. Better catch. And one! That was quite a pass. An even better catch. That's Mike. a nice freshman kid. Yes. Six foot yeah. two inch. Look at the look at the body mm -hmm. on him. He is yeah. uh, he's got a good future. Lean to shoot. One. Yeah. That's it. Good. That last foul what? was was on Reynolds, I believe. Yes. Tolan's guarding Root. Good job. Good job. Handling that pick and roll. Mm -hmm. Hopefully the Badgers will learn how to handle that eventually. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh, that's so frustrating. It is. They're playing in about 20 minutes. Well, it's on Paramount. I don't get that. So. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, bummer. All right. Coming up on the 10 minute mark, Cardinals lead by one, 14 13. A little shot fake, nothing going. Lean to Rude. Christensen off the screen, the down screen. That's a real scramble. That's good. <laughs> there were bodies all over. <laughs> Skin is a renewable resource. It'll, <laughs> it'll grow back. Nice three ball. Boy, that kid's got a sweet. Nice touch, doesn't he? Sweet looking shot. Yeah. 16 14. Christensen with 13 of those points. Ooh. High post. Three pointer on the way. No good. Moline nice rebound. cleans up and rebound. scores. Five points for Blake. Ooh, Christensen had a notion. 
He's in the gym, he's in range. <laughs> From 15, Cardinals with the rebound. Walters over the timeline. Two, three zone. Tolan, Walters turns the corner, no. They're doubling Ream. Tolan, big rebound. Nice pass. Oh, it almost got there. It was a good idea yeah. by Zach. It just was a little bit short. Ooh, there's a foul. That's a reach. Zach picks up his first. Eight minutes and ten seconds left. Tolan out. Tolan Nemeth out. Nemeth out. Yeah. We got Duhome in and Morley in for the Cardinals. Oh. Boy, that was wow. a blow by. Well, is that a quick first that was step? A quick first step, wasn't it? Wow. Yikes. Whoa, watch it. Anders Duholm looks inside, not there. Zach Walters on top. Morley. Blake Moline. Nice pass. Nice pass. Oh, better pass. Hit it, Sam. Nice rebound. No off the edge. Moline with a rebound. Held ball. Mm. All right, Siren. So catch up here. I've got Reem with another rebound. And Boy, Ty did a great job of tracking that ball, kind yes. of with his back to it. Mm -hmm. That really was an athletic play. Nice to see Morley take that shot. He's, he's, he's very reticent. There's another vocab turn. He's very reticent to shoot. <laughs> oh no! Hustle! Had a good look. Three ball. Nope. Green with the rebound. Walters. 6.30 left in the first half. Cardinals down. 18 to 16. home back to Reem. Hit it. Looks good. Yes. Yes. Luck with the timeout. And the lead at 19 to 18. Walters has two threes. That's nice to see. Mm -hmm. We'll take a little pressure off the double team. Exactly. Whenever Ty exactly. gets the ball. So you go inside out. He steps yeah. in. Get that ball in the, in the shooting pocket. Hit him in the right spot. And he's mm -hmm. right into that shot. And against that 2-3 zone, you got these shooting pockets uh, that, are, that are definitely going to be there for you. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's easier to get a shooting pocket for a three-point shot against the 2-3 than it is against the 1-3-1. Yes. One. I agree. Six fourteen. Left and half, Cardinals up by one, 19-18. It's a pretty well-played game, Wes. Yeah, a few turnovers. I've got six for Siren and four for Luck. Not many turnovers. Oh. Help. Need help. Oh, is he out there? Ooh. <laughs> that almost didn't Boy, get there. Boy, is he attracting a crowd, isn't he, when he gets the ball? And rightly so. Yes. Yeah. 
Rood says, I brought it up, I'm shooting it. A little bit slow to find a defender on him. He, he had a really, so. really good look on that. Yes. Siren back on top. Nemeth, three on the way, no good. Ream with a foul. He'll shoot two. I think that's going against Rude. Yep. Number three. I have him for one. Is that what we that's have on the board? First. That's no. what we have on the board. Yep. So tie. Ooh. Long. That's his second miss tonight. He already. doesn't miss many. Two in the ball game. Tex replaces Helene. Oh, for three. Missed them both. That hasn't happened very often. No. Under the game. five minutes. Oh, nice pass. Oh. Straight up. Don't take a swing at it. Yeah. Stay straight. He may have hit the all ball, but you're just not going to get that call. No, that's no. the thing. Yeah. That's one thing the Badgers do quite well is they, they stay really vertical. Yes. That takes a lot of a lot of practice. Those guys are well drilled in that. Yep. Reynolds is on the board with his first point. Twenty-two to nineteen, siren by three. 440, quarter mile. Trouble. Good job, good job. Turnover and a turnover. We got really deep on that. I didn't like no. the, oh. Nice job, Ty. Yes. Do home. Nemeth. Do home. Oh. Little nonchalant. Yep. Another turnover. Oh my goodness. That's a logo shot. Yep. Ream with the rebound. 335 left in the half. Nice block out. Yes. Christensen with the rebound. Tex on top, Rude on the wing, Christensen. Running one-hander. Rebounded by Walters. Walters, his second. Three ball from the corner. Oh, that might not have been that bad a foul. I was gonna say, it might have, it might have. Stopped a layup. And it definitely uh, could have put uh, Zach in, in the fouling jeopardy at the other mm -hmm. end. Trying to stop Rude going full bore. I wonder how many shots Coach Rude's son has taken in his <laughs> athletic career. Or, or since he's been born. <laughs> Those guys are gym rats. Ooh. Here come the Cardinals, down by three, 222. Deuces wild on the scoreboard. Yeah. 
short. Cardinals have come up empty on a few trips. Yeah. We need a stop here. Double screen. Got it. Ooh, no. Nope. It looked awful good. Green, Green with the again. rebound. Nice block out, Ty. Morley's up ahead. Siren gets back. Left handed. Left handed. Nice job by Sam. Yes. Somebody's got to get inside. There we go. Three ball. No. Rebounded by Christensen over Blake Moline. Root, dribble penetrates. Good nice entry pass. pass. Oh! Got it. Christensen again. 18 points for that young man. 18 out of their 25. Not bad. Well defended. Yeah. Another one. Rude from 22. Nine points for oh, Rude. All of a sudden the lead is nine. There's that. In the last two minutes. There's that mushroom. Yeah. That we saw in a girls game. Same thing. In oh, and out. we needed that. Nice rebound. Morley with a nice offensive rebound. Really? He'll yeah. shoot two. Foul is on Tex, his second. Team sixth. Morley's on the board. What do we got? What do we got? Sub. It's going in for the shooter. Shooter. That's right. Okay. 8.9 seconds left. Sam is two for two. That a boy, Sam. Seven they, points. Then they didn't. They didn't blow the horn to get the sub in. Maybe there's no sub there. Got it. Oh. Well, that there was, was a sub there. Huh. 28-21, halftime score. Hmm. Let's uh, turnovers. Seven for Luck and seven for Siren. Well, it's pretty close. The difference in the game is two, four, six, seven. Siren has made seven threes. Oh, there you go. Seven points, seven and, threes. And Luck has made three. All right, so let's take a look at statistics here. First of all, for the visiting Dragons, Christensen has a boatload, has 18 points and no fouls. Six rebounds. Nice half. Helene has not scored, but has two fouls. Nope. Tex has two fouls. He does not have a rebound. Rude has a foul and nine points. And a rebound. Uh, Frenerton hasn't scored. Has a rebound, though. Uh, Reynolds has a foul and one point. And two rebounds. For the Cardinals, Zach Walters has six points and a foul. Two rebounds. <coughs> Let's take a read here. Morley has, has two free throws. And a rebound. Wait a minute here. I, I am missing some points here. I'm wondering if... That doesn't go there. Walters has six. Yes. Okay. My bad. Morley has two free throws. Uh, uh, Duholm yeah. hasn't scored but has a foul. No rebounds. Uh, Nemeth has two points and a foul. Three rebounds. Uh, Reem has two, four, six points and a foul. Uh, my goodness. Uh, you skipped Tolan. It is a I'm sorry. He has a rebound. One, two, All right. I had nothing for him. That's why I skipped seven, him. I'm eight, sorry. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve rebounds. Twelve rebounds already. For Ty. Uh, Blake Belline has five points. And three rebounds. And that's the that's scoring it. for yep. Luck. Hmm. So, 
at, <coughs> at, at this time, I'm going to take a, a second or two. It's, it's going to be longer than that because you know how long-winded I am. But <laughs> um, I'd like to take a few minutes to share some sad news. Um, yesterday, I received word from my daughter, Heidi, that Renee Vargas... Uh, La Class of 2005 passed away after a battle with with a blood cancer. Oh. Uh, Renee is one of two luck wrestlers that I'm aware of, and I, I you know, I've only been here for 48 years, and I, <laughs> I didn't coach wrestling, but I, I know of two state champion wrestlers in the history of the schools since I've been here, and and Renee is one of them. Uh, he won the 215-pound weight class his senior year. The other winner, by the way, is uh, Lance Hansen, who left Luck High School and went on to the military academy at West Point and retired as a lieutenant colonel. Really? Yes. Anyway, uh, Renee was coached by Harry John and was a classmate of another state-placing wrestler, Albie McKinney, who took third at, at state that year. And Renee was, was blessed with, with uh, great strength he was he he was very aware of balance, and he was very very quick on the wrestling mat. So please keep his family and friends and your thoughts and prayers. And I want to share my my uh, personal story about uh, Renee ending my basketball playing career. <laughs> I started playing basketball in 1959, <laughs> and that career ended. Uh, in 2005 and it ended in the annual faculty uh, student game the seniors uh, mm -hmm. and I matched myself up against our state champion wrestler and the first opportunity down the floor I did a great job I blocked him out and so I kind of kind of yipped at him a little bit and t uh. told him about you know here what's this old man doing you know blocking out this kid and so the next trip down the floor, <laughs> similar situation, shot goes up. So lead foot and lead butt Messer uh, decides he's going to block out this 215-pound champion. And, and, and Renee just did a swim move and kind of swatted me to the ground. <laughs> down I went. I extended my left arm, and I heard snap. Uh -oh. snap. And so I, I, I'm laying on the floor under the basket. I'm, I'm holding my left arm. And, and, and the faculty, my fellow faculty members, Marty, are you having a heart attack? You're holding the left arm. <laughs> I was in such good shape, you know. Uh -huh. that, you know uh -huh. I trained uh -huh. diligently for that, that one night a year basketball play. Uh -huh. uh, but anyway, uh, I, uh, I, I said, no, I broke my radius. And they said, how did you know you broke your radius? Because I couldn't rotate. I couldn't rotate my thumb. I, I knew what I had done. I heard it. Uh, so uh, Renee Vargas ended my uh, basketball <laughs> playing career. You didn't uh, come back after that. No, no. I, I thought about it. I, I did, but uh, I figured, uh, you did know. You, did you think about entering the transfer portal and play for <laughs> other faculty? <laughs> I was I was 56 years old at the time, <laughs> and had had a 46 year career. I, I felt it. I felt it was time for me to retire. So so that's that's my story of Renee uh, interacting with me. But anyway, uh, we 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 mourn his passing, and uh, again keep his his family uh, and friends in your thoughts and prayers. Blood cancer. Mm. Yeah, I, I don't know if it was uh, a, a form of lymphoma. I, I know that he, um, at one point, was contemplating or, or maybe did receive uh, a, a blood cell, a stem cell infusion process. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't know. I don't know all the details. Um, but uh, it's a sad story, to be sure.
Well, I've got a couple of minutes here. I I do have the uh, I do have the uh, Slippery Rock scores from <laughs> from the Porcupine Mountains uh, last Tuesday night. The Ironwood-based Red Devils defeated the Ontonagon Gladiators by a score of 54 to 48 in a game played at Ontonagon. And then last Friday night, those same Ontonagon Gladiators hosted the Cardinals from Wakefield, Marinusco, Marinesco, and they lost by a score of 59 to 30. 30. So the Glads, the Gladiators now have a three and six record in the Copper Mountain Conference, and overall are six and 13. They have three games left on their schedule, and next week. The opponent that they will be facing, their first opponent, is the Waters Meet Nimrods. <laughs> I love that. I do too. And in the immortal words of ESPN, if it weren't for sports, who would cheer for the Nimrods? Exactly. Good luck to the Gladiators in their remaining schedule. This is, this is our last update from Slippery Rock. Well, we'll see what the second half has to offer here. Cardinals had a real cold, cold spell there in that, in the latter stages of the second half where they just were unable to score. They had opportunities, but the ball wasn't dropping. And, and uh, frankly, when the ball doesn't go through the net, uh, it's, uh, it's hard to put points on the board, frankly. I mean, that's the way it works. Clean game, though. Not very many turnovers. Seven each. I think that's, that's remarkable. Well, what did I say? How many games have the Cardinals got left? The Cardinals have tonight and then three more games, including a tournament game uh, following tonight's contest. Yeah, no more home games. No, no. This, no. Is, this is our last. So we got... Opportunity Friday to and then converse two, with two you next folks. week, two, three more, two ne two next week and then a tournament game. Yeah, for sure. And if they win, they keep playing. Mm -hmm. Well, here we go, ladies and germs. 18 minutes left in the final home game for the Cardinals. Two, three zone, they moved it up a little. Yeah, they're really putting a lot of pressure on the perimeter. Walters with a three. Rebounded, Morley. Oop. In the passing lane, Rude gets the deflection and the steal. Three ball. Side pocket. Ouch. All of a sudden, the lead is 10. Fernetton with the three ball. Get somebody at that high post. Yes. Foul. That's Christensen's that's, first. Yeah. I believe it'll go on Christensen. Yeah, well he's the only one in the area, so he must have. You know what I saw the other the other day in a in I think it was in a woman's game, a woman's collegiate game, there was a girl on the floor wearing number seven. Oh. I thought that was an illegal number. Yeah, I wonder if yeah. I wonder if that's been changed. Ooh boy. Ty is struggling. What is going on here? Ty has missed three in a row. Or three altogether, maybe. Four. Four altogether. He's 0 for 4. Good. No, 0 for 5. Five. Jeez. That's five points. Of course, you're not going to make them all, but he makes. That one night, he did make them all, didn't yeah. he? Yeah. 
like 12 of them or something. He was, he was lights out. Rude inside. Christensen back to Rude. Deep three. Long shots produce long rebounds. And Christensen. Oh. Wow. All of a sudden. All of a sudden it's it's, it's a 13 point game. Uh oh, turnover. That's not good. And I think that was a little frustration followed by That's Zach. Very much so. Christensen with 21 for the Dragons. Moline in for Duhome. Rude. Christensen, nice wow. Euro step. Right. Ream with another rebound. Nice play. Nice player, I mean, is what I'm saying. Very, very nice. Wow. That'd be easy to get real frustrated with all those <laughs> slapping <know>. going on. <laughs> Texas third. Morley. Just a regular 2-3 zone, like it has been. Oh. <laughs> Moline throws it halfway up the bleachers. <laughs> he got a, he got a little excited. <laughs> that made the Svoboda cheering section. Yes, it did. And that's in row number five, <laughs> six. <laughs> Dribbled on the line. John is pleading. Yeah. So that's a second. Oh, and there's a foul. Second on Rude. Colleen is in the game for Siren. For Tex. Rebound. Oh good, another rebound. There. And scores. Eight points for Ty. Well below his. That's all he's had, it seems like. <laughs> yes. Well, wow. he's, he's missed the five free throws. Yeah. Okay. Oh, nice shot fake. Got Zach in the air. Going up. 23 footer. Off the front iron. Isaac with the rebound. Nemeth. Nemeth. 14, 15, left. Ooh, that ball was deflected. It was, it was tipped, yep. They, they're, they're well coached. They know that we're yeah. trying to get the ball inside and so they're, they're really conscious of trying to take that away, that entry pass. I, I tease Rude for playing zone all the time, but his kids really play a tough zone. They do. <laughs> they do. They're yeah. very aggressive. Yeah. They, they cover the passing lane so well. Mm -hmm. They're not very big. The, the, their size. Oh, right. Nemeth. Nice. With a step through move. His fourth point of the night. Cuts the lead to nine. Whoa. Oh. 
We got Subs in. Joe Tolan in. Anders Duholm in. Melina Morley. Eminem go to the bench. Yeah. Lost a little size there. Look out. All right. Nice well pass. Done. Well run, fast break. I like the fact that Zach had his head up, found a target, yeah. and used the backboard. Seven points is the margin, 34 to 27. Cardinal crowd is coming alive. Boy, I'll say. They sure are. And most of them are over here by us, so I'm <laughs> sure those <laughs> those that have the volume on at home <laughs> can hear. It's really exciting. Christensen kid is just lighting him up. <coughs> 21 points already. He's got five threes. Three seconds. Rude. Nice job, Tolan. Yes. Joe Tolan gives up some skin for the cause. <laughs> Duholm, three ball on the way, and it's good. Nice job. Inside out action. Tolan finds Duholm for the three ball. There's a deep three. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Man, these kids can shoot. They can shoot the three, can't they? He's got six of them. Yeah. Six threes. Coming up on a 12 minute mark. Oh! Not alert. No. That hurt. Rude, down the lane, hop stop. Same three from the same spot. And that spot is way out there. 27. <laughs> three ball. Three. That foul's going on number yeah. five for Netton. His first unusual. Trying to block off. Yeah. He kind of undercut him. Oh, that's what it was. Yep. Undercut it. Undercut tie on a rebound attempt. It's back to a 10 point game list. Yes. Those threes. Yeah, it's amazing. Threes are that's totally back to back threes. Totally changed the game, hasn't yeah. it? Another three ball. Off the back iron. Christensen with the rebound. Behind the back dribble. One on two. Charged. And offense. Yeah. Easy call. Good job, Anders. Yep, he was planted. Well done, Mr. Duholm. Drawing the charge. That was a nice Euro step. You don't have to talk to the coach every time. Ref? No, no, no. You make the call, the yeah. game goes on. Yeah. 
You don't have to explain every call. This is not the uh, debating society. No. Whoa. Right in that trap. Yep. No place to go. Christensen, another three ball. Ooh. One and 33 and five. Nemeth rebounding for the Cardinals. Three, Turnover. Five. Trouble. Turnover. Love. And a deuce. For Christensen. I can't, I can't keep up. 29. That was a turnover that generated yeah. that basket. Oh, he was there. Yes, he was. Get in there. Oh, oh in and out for Anders. It was. It was in. Coming up on a 10 minute mark. Lead is back up to 12. Yep. Morley getting ready to check in for the cards. That was a travel. Yes. Wasn't called. That was a travel. That did get yeah. called. <laughs> Moline and Morley enter the game for the Cardinals. Let's see who goes to the bench. Tolan and Nemeth. All right. And Isaac. All right. 9.40 left in the ball game. Cardinals got an uphill battle here. Drive. Three ball. No good. Christensen with the board. 9-10 left in a game. Nice rebound. Morley again. Good timing on that one. Steps into the three. Boy, that was a nice looking shot. Christensen now has 10 rebounds, too, to go with his 29 points. Nice move on the baseline. Thirty-second timeout. Called by Coach Rude. Eight thirty-three left. Cards down by fourteen. I thought I, I thought Rude made a nice uh, running effort to call that timeout. I don't know if you saw that. <laughs> it was good. He went from inside the free throw line all the way up to the half court. Did almost. you have the stopwatch on? Yeah. <laughs> But, you know, a sand dial. Yeah, we'll have the. Uh, uh -huh. But it, it was a good effort. Quick, so quick. he's showing his kids how to hustle. That's right. Well, now knowing John as I know him, is he going to hold it? Oh, he will eventually. I think unless they're way up. So there's 8:33. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised, but he he slows the game down. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. He's done it in the past. <coughs> Their defense has been awesome. Yeah. In this half. Ty. Good spin move. Nice pivot spin move. Double figures for Reem. <coughs> He's halfway to his season's average. Passed up that three ball attempt. Yeah. Let's just stop. Wait, let's stop. Oh. And that's going to be called against Blake. Just a little late getting there. Yeah. And with the wrong hand. If he'd have gone across there with his left hand, I think that would have opened up his shoulder. He wouldn't have fouled him. Eight minutes. One quarter in the old days, Wiss. Yes. Would have been a timeout now. Yeah. Take it away, Cardinals. Come on. Rebound, rebound. 
Down the lane, pulls up. Oh, yeah, they're not. He would have taken that shot before. Nice step through. I think they. I think everybody's been told to slow it down except him, <laughs> except Christensen. <laughs> He's and got he, 31, and he shouldn't. <laughs> Deep three. Good. Another timeout? Yeah. Who called this one? Uh, Luck. Okay. Timeout called by the Cardinals. 30 second. Sack is in double figures. He's got 11 points. He's got 11, yeah. He's working his way to 1,000. <laughs> yes, he'll get there. Hope he stays healthy. Yeah. Good Lord willing and the creek don't rise. Yeah. It's like the B squad game is over. We see some siren ladies entering the gym. Coach Kozlowski coaches their, their girls, and uh -huh. Coach Drake coaches ours. Three balls. In and out. Blake. Blake. Good rebound, Blake. Nice rebound, Blake. Good, good pass, good catch. Do Got home. set. Oh, that looked good, Ooh. too. That was dead on. Oh, nice look. Nice find. Yes, I agree. Good passing by Siren. On their fast break and they're in the baseline. Uh-oh. Double. Siren defense, you've got to zip those passes. Yep. Down the lane. Yes. Nice. Running push shots, I like that. They're fun to, it wasn't a fun strider though. No. He didn't he didn't raise that, that yeah. right leg. <laughs> picky, make, picky, picky. Make it an official <laughs> strider move. <laughs> oh. oh Blake. Give it up. Oh, popped it clean. out. That was an opportunity that went awry. Yeah. Sure. 535 left. Siren by 11. Nice. What a pass. No look pass. Yes. He saw, yes. he knew where he was. He looked, yes. he looked to his right. And threw a bullet. Foul is on Reem. His second, I believe. Shooting two. What's the number? Is that number one? Yep. Clean. And it's good. No, it was not good. Step on the line. No good. He must have stepped yep. on the line. Yep. I mean, that's an easy call to make. Yeah. Well, one for two, yeah. even though he made both of them. 5.15 to play. 12 point lead for the Dragons. Walters. Nemeth with a rebound. Nemeth looks inside. Rebound. Wow. 
and score for Reed. And he's had to work for every rebound and point he's got tonight. 12 points for Ty. 16 rebounds. Another double-double. Not very often. The rebounds are, are, are more than, than the points. points. Yes. <laughs> Christensen down the lane. Popped out. Uh-oh. <laughs> like got, I said. He's got that side of the floor, doesn't he? 34 points. <coughs> what a shooting performance. Yes. Fun to watch. Deep three. That looked like a tired three-point attempt. Yeah. Because yeah. poor Zach hasn't been out of the game. No. I don't think he's been no out rest. of the game no. at all. In and fact, I, I don't remember the last home game that I saw him take a break during the game. He gets a lot of minutes. And he always, and there's a foul. Got a sub. Joe Tolan. Yep. Joe Tolan for Blake, Blake Moline. What do we got? Hell ball. Timeout. Timeout. Oh. Rude called it. Yeah. Smart, smart call. Full timeout. Now they're going to yeah. milk it. Yeah. They got a 13 so. point lead yep. with three and a half minutes. You're not going to see them yep. unless it's a wide open layup. I got to do a little teasing here because Siren does have another assistant coach, and it's Stacy Rood. John's, oh. John's wife. Yes. <laughs> She's down there. She is into this game. And I feel I can do that because she was my physical therapist after my open heart surgery. There you go. So, works at the, at that time, I'm assuming she still does, works at the Grantsburg Hospital. I, th I think she's at Cumberland. Oh, that maybe I maybe think maybe she's that at changed. the Cumberland okay. Hospital. And yeah. the reason the reason I say yeah. that is I golf with her dad. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, then you would know. Yep. Um, no, she's into it. And she was she was very very good. Now she's she's moving over to be right behind the bench. On cue. Way to go, Stacy. <laughs> you gotta love it. Anyway, her her dad is in the Wisconsin and Minnesota Football Coaches Hall of Fame. Yes. He's yes, a double he's, dipper. That's that's hard to do. I did not know that she was at Cumberland. Though. I I believe that was the case. We we golfed at Cumberland, and I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> uh, but the golf course is very close to the to the new hospital down there. Yes. And, okay. And yes. and I thought that's what he said when we drove past. That oh. Stacy worked okay. there now. So I don't. I I kind of like the luck golf course. We play there once a year at Cumberland. Yeah. Hell ball. Well, on the second hole, I'm on in regulation, eight feet from the putt, or eight feet from the cup, and I five putted for a seven. Five putted? That's a new record, isn't it? Well, I don't know if it's a record, but <laughs> it, it definitely... Uh, second hole, that kind of set the bad tone. Yeah, <laughs> it leaves a bad taste in your mouth. So, Putting for birdie and... Yeah, putting for a birdie and, and, and wind up with a with a seven. Anyway. You guys you don't you don't have the uh, three foot rule? No. When you're golfing with 
with Draxler and Ken and <laughs> and, and uh, Steve Jensen and <laughs> the uh, retired faculty and staff from the Frederick uh -huh. School District. No gimmies. No. Is that right? No. Oh. Even inside the leather of your putter? They don't even no. do that, huh? 227. Cardinals got a score here. We need points. Down the lane. Nice step through and a he, score. Thank how you. How did he get in there? Nice move, Tyreen. Nice job staying down on balance. Threading the needle. 11 point game. Ooh, there's a tip. Ooh. Rude recovers. Yes. Christensen. Oh, down the lane. He's not holding. Oh. The, he's not holding the ball though. He had a wide open look. Yes. Nope. That was. Four corners. Yeah. Yeah. There's one. Took it right away from him. That way, Joe. Should be a technical foul, too. Slap the bar. Bats board. Another turnover. Ooh. <laughs> Ten. Are you counting? God, these guys are. The luck is playing great defense here in these four corners. They have to. Mm -hmm. yes. I mean, that's it. Yeah. I mean, that. You, you got to have stops when you're when you're playing from double digit so it's deficit. Been, it's now been officially 18 years since I've been to a rules and turf meeting. <laughs> 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 but in the old days, if you slapped the backboard during a shot attempt, wasn't that? I think a, it was. A, yeah, like basket interference or yeah. a technical foul or something. I, I think they could have called basket interference. Yeah. I don't know if it would have been a technical foul. Yeah, I think it okay. could have been. But it, had he missed that, uh, they, they could have uh -huh. awarded okay. the two points on basket interference. I'm thinking. Okay. What do I know? Yeah. No, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, the old. Rules and turf meeting. Yes. We got some subs going in that the fans like for Siren, but they've already played. So Helene and Tex. I'm not sure what that's all about, but no. Oh, illegal substitution, maybe. One. Hey, there's five on the court. One, two, three, and four, one five. getting ready to check yeah. in. Okay. <coughs> Run the picket fence, and he did. Yeah. He got through the gate. <laughs> Very late double team there. There it is. Well done. Yep. Siren a, team, they're a good passing team. That was a great they find. Were, yes. By Christensen. Six and ten in the conference. So I did talk to Coach Rude, and they've had some. They had a couple players that missed six games. Oh. Um, and then a. Uh, and then a, an injury, so that led to some early defeats. But they're they're playing good basketball now. They play hard. Yeah, they play they're not, hard. They're not very big. No, they're giving away a lot of size. Yeah. <coughs> steal. Mm. Rude with a steal. And that's fourth foul on Zach. We got 40 seconds left. Yeah. I don't think it's. 10 turnovers the second half for Luck. Yeah. And only four for Luck. 
or for Siren, I'm sorry. All right, we're going to get a few bodies in here for the Cardinals. Rude's free throw is good. These are seniors coming in for the Cardinals. We got Landon LaRusso coming in, and we have who else? Alex Chartran, another senior. Nels Anderson, 13, is in there. So we have a, a senior lineup on the floor for the Cardinals for the last 41 seconds. Well, that's kind of cool. Get a chance to close out their careers here at home. We salute them for the job that they did. Another one by Root. Nine to his 11 to, I get Root for 13. I should have looked quicker before the subs got in, but yeah. I, I, did, I can't confirm. Lava to him. Shoot it, Landon. Off green. Card on ball. Seconds. This is who we're losing. Are these five? Right here. Nels oh. Anderson inside, and we have a foul call. Nels will go to the line. Nels, I heard the other day was was interested in in culinary. Really, going yep. to be a chef. A chef, good. His folks have the red maple. Yeah, the eater, yes. And he likes that, huh? And so I, I think that's that's what I'd heard. Uh huh. All right, Nels is on the board. He's in the book. Fifty-seven, forty-four. Siren can hold here if they... I'll let them play. Get a shot off. There's a shot. <laughs> he wanted yeah. it. He got it. He got a shot. 57-44. All right, we'll do a quick wrap-up here for the Siren Dragons, and this is again totally unofficial. <laughs> Christensen uh -huh. had two fouls, four and four is eight, and two is 10. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. 11 nine rebounds. is 19, and nine, 19 and nine, 28, 28. and six, 34. Christensen. Okay. And oh. 10 rebounds. 10 rebounds, nice double-double. Nice double-double. Swell player. Helene yeah. had two fouls and one point. Uh, and two rebounds. Tex had three fouls. No rebounds. Rude had two, four, and six is ten. And three, 13 points and two fouls. And two rebounds. Uh, Fernetten had a three-point basket and, and a foul. Two rebounds. And let's see, Reynolds had a foul and four, six points. Uh, and six rebounds. For the Cardinals, Zach Walters had four and six is 10, 13 points and four fouls. And three rebounds. Morley had two points. And three rebounds. Duholm had a foul and three points. Uh, no rebounds. No rebounds? Okay. No. Uh, Nemeth had a foul and four points. And seven rebounds. Joe Tolan had a basket for two. Two rebounds. Reem had two fouls and two, four, six. And wait a minute. Four and four is eight and four is 12. And two, 14 points for, for Ty. 17 rebounds. Wow. Nels Anderson had a free throw. No rebounds. Blake Bellin had five points and a foul. Four rebounds. And so, that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes the action. Uh, since this is our final farewell, I want to throw some bouquets out there, throw a 
A huge thank you to Aaron Argus for making us sound good. Wow. He's yeah. our technical wizard. Best in the business. But he even, with all his skills, couldn't make us look any better. <laughs> That's why the so cameras are, are, are pointed away from yes, us. Yes, yes, yes. We, we have faces. We have faces. Faces for radio. <laughs> And if you don't believe us, ask our wives. Yeah. Uh, well, anyway. I've been told that <laughs> in the past. And I, and, and I want to say a big thank you to the Lux School District for inviting us, inviting us and I to call these games for you. To our webcast regular viewers, thanks for tuning in. To our sponsors, thank you for your support uh, of these webcasts. And I want to wish good luck to the Cardinal boys and girls as they close out their season on the road and then enter the tournament play. And so from Messer and Wissy, from Marty and Dwayne, good night from the Andy Downley Gym. Good night.